The fact that now we make it easier to create music, does it imply that more people will create music? I would say so. The example I always use is Instagram. Think about professional photography before Instagram. There, it costs a lot to buy an SLR camera, understand how to use it, go out and take the pictures. The people at Instagram and, and other companies at the time figured out that simple feature, simple filters, simple effects can make your picture look that much better. And in turn, the ecosystem saw the power of that. And you saw that Apple was building better cameras in their phones. And now to be a quote unquote professional photographer doesn't necessarily require school, doesn't necessarily require uh, expensive camera. Uh, of course, it opened and it opened up uh, this community to a lot of other people. Now, that's not to say that you know, you're not still gonna have that sort of bell curve where the, the very top best photographers are, are still a small portion of it, but it opens it up to more people to have the option to understand that industry and, and maybe find a passion for something that they normally wouldn't have had access to in the past. How many people have this passion to, to really go all the way through writing songs and where, they, where are they? Uh, we have an office in Nashville and Nashville is Music City and it's, it's the songwriting capital of the world. It's where all the songwriters are specifically. You know, you've got LA and New York, we have a lot of artists, but Nashville is where the songwriters are. But around the country, you know, we're, we're in the millions. There's um, organizations like ASCAP and BMI, and um, you know, there's millions of people around the United States, just, just in the United States alone, that do write songs. And that's not to mention the people that write songs that haven't even registered um, or officially you know, become professional songwriters at this point. How do you expect the user will react to this new wave of technology around audio? You know, for me, just, co-writing with other people and getting their perspective on the world and working together with them uh, was such a valuable experience for me as a human being. And I think that if there's tools out there that can enable people who are interested in music to connect with other people that are interested in music, you'll have these, these connections that people aren't having. You know, you, you, you talk about, people talk about Facebook and Instagram and social media connecting people, but they're connecting them on, you know, a visual text-based level to actually create something together to create a song um, that's born out of maybe an emotional experience from somebody and for having somebody collaborate with the other person on that is is, is a sort of a paradigm that we don't have in our day-to-day -day lives and it's something that i crave a lot after i've gone through it a couple of times and a lot of people haven't had that experience so i think just from a, a human connection standpoint uh, it's going to help people be i think more free thinking and, and have a different level of uh, respect for each other and, and connection that they can you know use in their everyday life. Basically, if we look at all the video experiences that have come up out there, there is no such a thing like people can collaborate in the creation of the, of the video. So to a certain extent, we are doing it here, but it's really not on the more creative side of it. What makes then the people to have access to this technology? I think the moment that we realize that somebody can write a hit song, that to me is gonna show people, wow, you can, I don't need to have a whole studio. I could literally do it right now. I have the thing in my pocket. I just need to figure out this. Uh, I need to figure out this inspiration I have and, and see it come to fruition. We, we just don't want any friction in the actual creation process once you get inspiration.